Okay, and welcome back to the second part of The Ghost of Shishima. Swipe on the touchpad and the wind will guide you. So our next location is to help with um, Yuna's, finding Yuna's brother, the Warrior's Code. But for some reason, this tree over here is interested in me, with all the birds swirling around it, so let's check that out first. Ariake Heiku. Compose a Heiku. So what is this? Reflect on refuge. Take a look around. Calm waters and calm mind. A golden temple. A world's reflection. Submerged deep in nature's shade. Growth that shelters all it sees. Where's the other one? There. Growth that shelters all it sees. Where's the other one too? There's only two for this one. I was over there. Darkness fades in brilliant light. Sturdy do we stand, ever unbending, we rise together. A world's reflection. Darkness fades in brilliant light. We rise together. Like a little poem. Headband of refuge. Press options to view. Headband of refuge. Or oh, white hen band. The will of the warrior, timeless and untouched by death. Okay, well, we're looking nice and uh, sparkly with our gold headband on, so I think we should go with that one. Okay. So let's get to the Ketchy village and help with Yuna finding her brother. We got flowers. So I guess we can pick flowers. Here. Not sure what that does yet. What's that buzzing above the pampas grass? Looks like pollen, is it maybe? We've all just settled. What was it? We just settled in the pampas grass. Mm. And I was not there. Okay then. Let's follow the wind. Don't know what that is. Pause. Is it dogs? That's you. Was Yuna? Found me. She's killing Mongols and grilling fish at the same time. You handle that well. I should have heard him coming. Let myself get distracted. These people saw Mongols marching prisoners upriver. They had a blacksmith with them. Your brother? Sounds like it. They were taking him to a camp near the Canada Inlet. I know the place. A warrior's code. Got the dragonflies. Did you find any samurai to free your uncle? Not yet. 
I'm still searching. I'm sure you'll find someone soon. Okay, so the wind is taking us this way. Taka can help you after we save him. Hard to believe I might see him soon. He's lucky to have you. He might disagree. That's what siblings are for. What about you? Any brothers or sisters? Lord Shimura is my only family. What will you do when he's free? Take a breath. Because then I'll know there's hope for our island. You feel that strongly? I've watched him win victory against impossible odds. And after your brother is free, what then? Honestly, I haven't had time to think about it. Well, the crows are feasting on our fish. It all adds to the flavor, I guess. Okay, we're picking up supplies. This village looks pretty um, abandoned, I guess, so I can't imagine it'd be much here. Uh, just keep going to our destination. You're right. Oh, we got some more supplies. How are your wounds? Mostly healed. Your bandages did the trick. You don't share much about how you feel, do you? <laughs> I suppose you're right. My uncle taught me that a samurai masters his emotions, like you master a horse or a blade. That's a hard way to live. It's not supposed to be easy. Okay, there's dead bodies and things burning, so I don't know if I'm gonna bump into anyone. Someone's cart left behind. Keep going. There's a spot up ahead that overlooks the river. Should give us a good view of the Mongol camp. There's the camp. Tough to get inside. The Mongols threw that place together in days. There has to be a way in. Let's look. Survey. We need to reach Taka without putting him in danger. We'll find a safe approach. Defenses in back are formidable. We could scare the rocks on that side. If they're loose, they might give way. Alert the guards. The front wall there is still under construction. Could be a way in. We can look for a gap in the front wall. Slip inside. And cut down the Mongols where they stand. If something goes wrong, they'll kill the prisoners. I've seen them do it. We have to go in quietly. Like thieves. What's wrong with that? Before the samurai, this island was ruled by criminals. We changed that by creating order and delivering justice in the open. We live by a code of honor. And sometimes we die by it. Warriors like my father, who just wanted to give us a safer home. I want the same thing, but we have to fight back. I promised my uncle I'd never break our code. Then bend it. To save my family. And what's left of yours. Let's get a closer look. See what we're up against. We should wait until it gets darker. Let's move. Yeah. I feel like he sort of knows that he can't defeat them by following his code, facing them eye to eye and Taka. killing them. He's been through a lot, even before the invasion. But you took care of him. Someone had to. He hated when I stole. But it was that or Star. I didn't have a choice. I didn't choose to be a samurai either. But going against my instincts. My code. It's better than getting wiped out by the Mongols. We have to fight back. Any way we can. Maybe picking up some wood on the way. Come on now, we'll finish this fence. Through here. If they 
they see us, they'll kill the prisoners. Then we better stay quiet. And open their throats. There's no other way. Stab the Mongol in the back. I thought they said the back, not the throat. He's just realised he's broken his cord. Bear's running with a limp. Your arrow wounded him. This is when a beast is most dangerous. Remain alert. Yes, Uncle. Keep after him. I didn't think bears lived here. They don't. But the fighting in Yarikawa drove some this way. So it's the rebels' fault. We should feed them to this bear as punishment. We are not barbarians, Jim. Okay, so when a beast is wounded, is when it's most dangerous. So, so does that mean there's bears in this game as well? The bear stumbled here. Is it dying? No, but we're getting closer. It's a lot of fog, so I'm guessing there's going to be a jump scare. It's a strange noise. Stay ready, Jim. Yes, Uncle. If it's still alive, can I take the shot? Prove you can control your emotions. The deer's running away. Perhaps. We got him. Careful. He could still be alive. This arrow should not have killed him. Look, Uncle. There's a gash in his side. Not from an arrow. From Yarikawa! Traitor! You would stab the Tito in the back! Otakai! Control yourself. We are not criminals like this man here. We are samurai. He tried to kill you! He must answer for this crime with his life. Don't look him in the eye. I'll teach him that samurai never acts out of anger or fear and take his life with honor. He chopped his arm off. <laughs> he split his now again. When we fight, we face our enemy head on. And when we take their life, we look them in the eye with courage and respect. This is what makes us samurai. Only cowards strike from the shadows. Okay, well I guess we're now a coward because we just struck from the shadows and stabbed the guy in the back. Jin, what's wrong? Let's find your brother. I think he's realizing that his uncle will think he's a quiet coward. Can't let them see us. Use all your senses. Think and move like a thief. Focus cheering. Press the touchpad to use focus cheering, revealing en nearby enemy positions while slowing your movement. Okay, let's go for it now. Okay, 
chase. We got the big boy by here. There's two up ahead. They're moving now, I killed him. Is that someone over there? Got two up ahead. What was this guy by here? Yeah, there's an arrow, man. Supplies about. Twenty five. Okay, this spell, this guy's roast dog dinner. A little temple going on here. Yeah. Some more supplies. A little bit of iron. A cloth reveal. You don't know who's gonna, what's going to be behind it. It's a bit of a scary one. Okay. The poor hog roasting away. Going to go to waste because all these people are going to get. Assassinated. Look at the foxes hang up with their noses. Don't tell me they bloody eat foxes. Can't be tasty, I know. There's heads on a stick, but yeah. Should I let him drink one more time? Here we go. I allowed him to have one last drink. You know these poor buggers. Oh, good. Chop his head off. Yeah. Oops. Oh, he's dead anyway. Sort this guy out. A prisoner. Tucker. Let's find out. No, it's not Tucker. How'd you get in here? We need to go. We'll talk when it's safe. Come on. Oh, we got this tent by here, though. Uh, it had to be someone in there, didn't there? Quite a few supplies in here. Records. Conversations with the Khan 1. What can a simple monk like me hope to accomplish by recording my conversations with Kutan Khan? My aim is to document his words and deeds in order to counter the natural suspicions of people of Tishishima, foster mutual understanding and therefore prevent more bloodshed. The Khan has been, more, has been most receptive to these talks and surprisingly frank on the range of matters, though I am a mere translator and Japanese to boot. His ambition is boundless as any shogun's, and he, is keen, he has a keen sense of history and his place in it. At, this, at the same time, he is eager to learn more about the culture and history, such an intriguing man. So it looks like the Khan has duped this guy into teaching him more about the samurai. So he can kill more samurai. But the guy thinks he's doing a good thing. Okay, so we got collections, Mongol artifacts. Learn more about the Mongols. And we got a satchel. Okay. 
Arul. Arul is a staple of the Mongols' nomadic diet, made of curds boiled in fresh milk. The result in mixtures combined with sugar and fruits before being dried and sliced into various shapes and patterns. Okay, are we missing anything else? I don't think so. Do we miss anything in these tents, don't you? I can't interact with that. Seems like it could be something. Let's get to the river. We'll be safe there. Okay, let's keep going. Are you with the Straw Hat Ronin? Mm. I was. Cut ties with them after they started running low on rations. Lord Shimmer has been captured, and I could use some extra swords to free him. Are you looking for work? No, but the other Straw Hats may be. Last I heard, they were hunting Mongols in Tsitsu Prefecture, by the coast near the Kishi Grasslands. Not sure what these flowers do yet, and that tree is glistening. We're looking for my brother, a blacksmith named Taka. Don't know him, but a lot of prisoners move through here. You said they were moving the slaves. Where? They mentioned Asimo Bay. And there was a blacksmith in the last group. Young man with a beard. From Yarikawa, maybe. You'd better be right. I hope you find your blacksmith. He's not a blacksmith, he's a brother. The town is surrounded by walls. Rushing in without a plan will only put him in more danger. I have a friend who might be able to get us inside. Find him. The sooner we rescue Tucker, the sooner we save my uncle. Jin. Taka will forge whatever tool you need as soon as he's free. But after that, we're leaving the island. You've seen what the Mongols are doing here. Lord Shimura can stop them. Stay. Help us fight for a home. Home is wherever Taka and I go. My friend lives in Asmo Prefecture. On the border with Tsutsu. I'll find you there. I know this wasn't easy. Going against your code. I did what I had to. Thank you. Okay, so Yuna is nomadic. Whereas Jin sees this island as his home, so he's willing to protect Lord it. Shimura. You deserve better than this. Convince your people to stop resisting, and you can walk free. Stop wasting my time. Kill me. Mm, you think you've lost everything. But your nephew is still alive. <laughs> my men control the roads. They build war camps near your towns. They see everything. And they will find him. Lord Sakai will fight until his last breath. As will I. You love him. Just as you love your people. Your father to them. Will you abandon your children? I won't make them your slaves. Mm. 
Okay, so we've earned a... Upgrade, I guess you could call it deflection. Or roll across the floor to avoid attacks. So we'll go with rolling across the floor to avoid attacks. And we've completed the warrior's code. Shadow's having a drink from the river. Jin is hopefully just sitting and not doing something else. So anyway, if you're enjoying this, like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.